Hello, everyone. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Sherry. <gasps> Sophie, you've been very busy today. Yes, I have. <gasps> oh, and Sophie, you're wearing a spider today. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, and I have a joke. Oh, <laughs> well, tell us your joke. Well, what do spiders eat with their hamburgers? Hmm. I don't know, Sophie. What do spiders eat with their hamburgers? French flies, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, French flies. Yes, that's a good one, Sophie. Because you're a spider. And spiders, they eat flies. Yes. Oh, speaking of food, I have invited some friends over for lunch today. Oh, oh I think they're on their way. Yes. Oh, look, here comes one little doodle bug. One little doodle bug came to play on my spider web today. Oh, they had such enormous fun that I'm going to invite another one. Doodle bug. Oh, look, here comes another one. Oh, now there are two. Oh, two little doodle bugs on my spider web today. Oh, they're coming, having so much fun. Oh, I think I'll invite another one. Hello, doodle bug, come play on my spider web. Hello. Oh, now there are three. Three little doodle bugs came to play on my spider web today. Are you having enormous fun? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's call for another one. Oh, ah, four, four little doodle bugs came to play on my spider web today. Oh, they had such enormous fun. Oh, look at them, all stuck in a bunch. Hmm. Oh, hey everyone, it's time for lunch. Lunch time. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, what do you mean lunch time? Oh, oh. Adore me. <laughs> oh, hmm. we have blueberries for lunch. That's how I keep my complexion so purplicious. Oh, doodle bugs, let's play our favorite game after lunch, shall we? Oh, you have a favorite game? Yes, we'll be right back. Oh, welcome back, everyone. We had a delicious lunch, and now we are ready to play our game. Oh, let's get started. Oh, Sherry, we'll need your help. Here's how we play. We'll say, Doodlebug, Doodlebug, are you hiding under? Oh, there's a zigzag rug a thick and thin-lined rug, and a swirly rug. Oh, doodlebug, doodlebug, are you under the zigzag rug? Let's look. Oh, doodlebug, you are a good hider. Let's try again. Doodlebug, doodlebug, are you hiding under the swirly rug? Oh, let's look. Oh, I found you, doodlebug. All right. 
Very shortly, Miss Maddie will be here to tell you all about how to make your very own doodle bug and rug game. See you next time. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make your own doodle bug game. You need a piece of paper that is eight and a half by 11. I am using a piece of computer paper. You need a pencil or a marker and a pair of scissors. To finish it, you will need color pencils, markers, or crayons to add your color. Let's open it up inside. We're gonna be using a lot of the same lines that we had talked about before in our other videos and some shapes to make our doodle bugs bodies. All right, we'll come to that in just a moment. I'm gonna show you how to make, we're gonna make three doodle bug rugs and one doodle bug. So first we're gonna take our paper. I'm holding it horizontally. So it's nice and long here. My sides are shorter than this up top. And I'm gonna fold that in half to make a book. So fold that in half with your helper hand, hold that down and you're gonna crease on that side. Okay, so now it should open it up like a book. So let's keep that closed and we're gonna fold it in half again. So again, horizontally, we're gonna fold it in half, use our helper hand to hold it in place and crease it again. So now when I open it up, I'm going to have four sections that are all the same size. Those are gonna be one, two, three rugs and one doodle bug that's gonna go under our rug. And it's important too that your doodle bug stays smaller than your rug. So at this point, if you wanna get your scissors out, if you can use scissors or if a grown up and adult can help you use some scissors. Now we're going to cut along these lines here. To hold our scissors, I put two fingers in the bottom, my thumb at the top. I open up the mouth and go chop, chop, chop. I'm gonna start cutting first this half here, right down the middle. And now I have two sides. I'm gonna finish cutting this one. There's two rugs. Three rugs and my doodle bug paper. So I'm gonna take my doodle bug paper and put that aside for now. And let's look at our lines. So for our lines, like our other rugs, and I have them here to show you, I used a variety of lines and colors. This one has more warm colors. This one has more cool colors. And this one's just a fun, colorful mix of lines. So you can do really whatever you would like with these. You can make a mermaid rug. You can make a heart pattern rug. Let's see, I'm gonna do a heart pattern rug. So a pattern is a term for something in art where you have a repeating shape, line, or design. So if I have three hearts on top, I wanna have three more hearts all the way down. Hopefully of all the same size, but a little variety is okay. So here is my heart shape rug and I'll work some more on that in just a moment and put that over here cover up our doodle bug I'm gonna make a wavy rug our wavy line rug there we go and if I want I can add in another line too so I could add in another zigzag line I could add a dotted line maybe I add my dotted line going around one of my wavy lines to make a dotted line 
I follow the line shape and I just do little dots or ticks and I make it kind of like an invisible line. There we go. So there's a wavy rug line. And let's see, our last one, we can do another shape. Maybe I do triangles. I can do upside down and right side up triangle rug. Maybe I'll add in some diagonal lines for fun. This is all up to you. You make your own pattern. You can make it a symmetrical pattern. You can make it asymmetrical. So maybe I do a swirl on this side and maybe I do a heart on this side. So now it's more of a asymmetrical pattern. So I'm gonna put our rugs to the side for just a moment and I'm gonna show you how to do our doodle bug. All right, so now with my last piece of paper, I'm gonna make our doodle bug. So let's look and see. Doodle bugs, usually, the way that I like to draw doodle bugs, and the way you draw doodle bugs can be completely different too. But I'm gonna start with a circle. I'm gonna make a big circle, which is gonna be my body. Now you can trace around an object, or if you wanna freehand draw a circle, you can. So I did one circle that's gonna be my body, and then I'm gonna draw a oval circle that I'm gonna use as my head. Now doodle bug antennas, just like our doodle bugs up here, they can be straight, they can be curly. I'm gonna do this one, some curly doodle bug antenna. And my eyes for my doodle bug, I like to do them on the sides with some more of those little circles that connect to my oval. With my feet, I can do straight lines. And let's finish our body. I'm gonna add a straight line and I can do a little fun doodle bug pattern inside. Maybe he's got curly doodle bug body on this side. And maybe it's zigzaggy on this side, real funky bug. Okay, so there is our doodle bug. Now, I'm going to show you after I color our finished product. We'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. I have our rugs here for our doodle bug, and I have our doodle bug. And I'm going to show you how to cut out your doodle bug. So we'll put our rugs to the side for now. We'll take our scissors and I am going to cut out around my doodle bug. So I'm not gonna worry about trying to cut out all my doodle bugs, little features, and I'm going to just cut around those little features. So I like to hold my paper in my helper hand and my scissor hand stays right put and sometimes I turn my paper with my helping hand. I can also turn my scissors too, but both of my hands are doing a lot of work when I am cutting something out like this. That is an odd shape. There we go. And I'm working nice and slow. Oops, and go around, and there we go. So if you like to recycle, you can recycle this piece of paper. I'm gonna put it off to the side. We have our doodle bug, and we have our three rugs. And there are all of our finished bugs and rugs. If you enjoyed this, please, we'd love to hear from you. You can send us an email at lundquiststorytimeinart at gmail.com. You can also, if you post any pictures online, we have hashtags that are in our about me and in our video description. Thank you so much.